Devotion for Tuesday, December 1st. During this time of Advent, I will be using devotions from the book I am reading this season, entitled Shadow and Light by Tish Oxenrider. On Sunday of week one, Tish writes, Advent means arrival, and it speaks of a beginning, the beginning. Not only is the start of Advent the first day of the liturgical calendar, and thus a New Year's Day for Christians, but it also assumes the arrival of something, or someone. Advent is more than counting down the days until Christmas with paper cut outdoors revealing chocolate, biding time until most until the until most children's favorite day of the year finally dawns, like someone anticipating the arrival of a dinner guest, we are invited into the rhythm of Advent to prepare. We do more important, we do more than impatiently drum our fingers on the table until we're allowed to open gifts under the tree we prepare ourselves. Similar to our culture's view of the first day of January as an invitation to reinvent ourselves, Advent gives us the chance to transform our lives, but in small, much more significant ways than a new workout regime or a less cluttered closet we are offered the chance to push the pause of holiday merriment and slowly inch away from the shadows. This is a small but significant cultural resistance we can practice in our homes, minds, emotions, and relationships. Today marks the arrival or this week marks the arrival of Advent, and soon enough will mark the arrival of the Christ child. For now, we, we revel in this invitation. First, we prepare inwardly. Let us pray using Psalm 147. Praise the Lord, how good it is to sing praises to our God, for God is gracious, and a song of praise is fitting. The Lord builds up Jerusalem, God gathers the outcasts of Israel, God heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds, God determines the number of the stars, God gives to all of them their names. Great is our Lord and abundant in power. God is understanding beyond measure. God covers the heavens with clouds, prepares rain for the earth, makes grass grow on the hills. God gives to the animals their food and to the young ravens when they cry. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Amen. Finally, a question to think about today and in the coming days. What is your honest hope for this Advent season? I hope you have a good day.